everyone tells you when you start a new business, the first thing you need is a website. But I disagree. A website is next to useless unless you do these other three things. Sure, your website can demonstrate that you have a professional online presence, but do you know how many people actually visit a new website once it's published? It's not that many. That is, unless you employ this strategy that I'm about to reveal. I've been a freelance website designer for a number of years now, and I have so many clients surprised when no one actually visits their new website. They're surprised when their business doesn't just magically take off because they have a website now. Please let me know, has this happened to you? Do you have a website that is underperforming? Let me know in the comments below. The reality is that there are a number of steps you need to take in order to acquire new customers. And a website is just a small part of that. I'm going to walk you through this four step strategy that will help you acquire new customers. If you refrain from doing this, then your business is doomed to fail. Yeah, I know a little bit dramatic, but it's the truth. Imagine your website sits at the top of this mountain. Your website is amazing. It's beautiful. It's optimized for mobile and SEO. But the thing is, there's no clear path for anyone to get from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain. This strategy will help you carve a clear path if you're committed to building an amazing website for your business and truly helping your customers. Then consider subscribing to my channel where I'm going to help you do just that. Let's jump to stage one. And this is one of those things that a lot of business advice gurus it's the first thing that they say you have to do. And everyone goes, oh no, not again. I really don't want to have to do that. But actually this stage lays the foundation for your business and all that you do in your marketing going forward. And that is to create a customer avatar. A customer avatar is where you create a fictional character that possesses the qualities that your target audience possesses. If you have an established offline business, then you're probably gonna know your customers quite well, or at least you have the means to acquire the knowledge that you need. You could do this by sending out some questionnaires to some past or current customers. If you have a brand new business and you've only had a few customers so far, you need to find a way of getting in front of your target audience. And you might find you can join some Facebook groups or WhatsApp groups or networking communities, anywhere that you can get in front of and associate with, communicate with the people that you want to potentially become your customer someday. Then you want to ask them a few questions. Here are three questions that I actually asked my target audience just recently. The first thing I asked was, what are the three biggest things you struggle with in your business? Question two is, what are the three biggest things you struggle with regards to your website or online presence? And question three, if you could snap your fingers and instantly have the skills to do one thing, what would that skill be? Obviously, you need to tailor these questions to your business and your target audience. But asking the right questions will give you a wealth of information about your target audience that you can use going forward with this strategy. And what I would do now is create a Word or a Google document where you record the questions that you've asked and all the answers that you receive. And then you can go one step further. And anyone that has answered your question so far, ask them to jump on a call with you and take this opportunity to ask them further questions, delve deeper into the problems that they have and really ask them, how can you help them solve those problems with the services that you already provide? So now you know much more about the problems that your target audience struggle with. It's time to move on to stage two. And stage two is super important because this is where a lot of small businesses end up spreading themselves too thin and becoming overwhelmed with doing busy work and they end up becoming burnt out. And stage two then, it involves picking one or two ways to get in front of your target audience and channeling or funneling them towards your website. So this is where we start building our audience and our reputation with that audience. The method that you pick depends on the business that you have and where your target audience hang out. That could be Facebook groups, that could be in-person events. Let's say you have a location dependent business. Let's say you're a plumber in whatever city. So you're gonna have people actually searching via Google or other search engines, nearest plumber to me. So making sure you have a Google business profile ensures that you appear near or at the top of that search result. Maybe you're more of an online business and you can work with people globally. You might decide that you want to start a blogging strategy that will increase the number of website visitors that you get. So for this, you wanna go back to the last stage, find, figure out the problems that they have and make sure you can answer their questions and their queries through 
blog posts. I have a playlist in my YouTube channel going more into how to create an effective blogging strategy. But some of the other methods that you might want to consider to funnel people to your website include social media. And again, I wouldn't try and reach everyone on all of the different social media channels. Try and find out where your current and your future audience resides on social media, what platforms they use, and pick a couple that you know that you can focus on. Other things might be creating YouTube videos. There's paid advertising. This could be on Facebook or Google. And then you have SEO as well. So once we've picked our couple of methods that we're going to focus on to funnel people to our website. Let's move on to stage three then. So stage three is our website, but I guarantee it's not the kind of website that you think you need. This is the kind of website that you can put together yourself in the next couple of hours. It's not one that's going to cost you thousands and take weeks or months to create. I like to use the acronym KISS for when it comes to websites. Keep it super simple. But you want to have the correct copy on your website. And that's why we did all the work at stage one where we gathered that information because we can use that to create amazing website copy. I have a website content template that you'll be able to find in the description of this video to help with this. So yes, build a website, but don't spend loads of money or time on it. Once you've that set up, it's re we're ready to move to the next stage. If you want to know how to build your very own WordPress website in just a couple of hours, then consider watching this video after this video, of course. Stage four then. This stage, like all of these stages, shouldn't be overthought, but it shouldn't be left out either. Many business gurus say that this marketing method brings them in thousands of dollars of income. So first of all, I have this motto and I really believe it, double your list, double your revenue. And, I, and I've seen it over and over again. We just had our big launch, our biggest launch of my career after 14 years. We just launched in sep September. And we have focused on that email list growth and strength six months leading up, bigger focus than I've ever had. And even if you're just starting out, it's really simple to put in the basis, the foundation for this marketing method to work for you. So stage four then is about growing an email list. And again, keep this super simple. What I'd recommend doing is going over to MailJump, signing up for a free account with them, create your audience, then go away and create a free ebook. Something that gives real value to potential customers. Again, go back to stage one to find a problem that you can solve in a nice, concise, quick way. And again, I have a video that I can link to that will help you put together a really good ebook. You want to give away this ebook in return for someone signing up to your email list. If you want me to show you exactly how to do just that, then pop me a comment below and I'll put it on my list of videos to make in the future.